Today I'll be talking about the Cafe Point of Sale offered by Bookstore Manager Software. I want to go over some of the advantages of using the Cafe Point of Sale. Uh, it is touch screen driven, uh, so it is designed for a touch screen. Uh, it does easily integrate in with Bookstore Manager, so if you're going to be offering other products uh, right there at the Cafe Register, then you can offer those as well. And then also how easy it is to customize and set up your different menus with the system. So here you've got your Cafe Point of Sale screen. Uh, as you can see, the layout uh, at the bottom are all your options. This is an actual menu system that one of our users does use. Uh, you can set up different items. So when you click on an item, it'll actually just ring up an item. So if I click on Slushy, as you can see, it rings up a Slushy. You can also set up different menus. Uh, you can set up to 99 different menus. Uh, but if I click on Appetizers, you can see that I've set up a totally different menu set up specifically for appetizers. So you can actually set up sub-menus underneath other menus. You can also sell any product in your store. So just like the other point of sale with a cafe point of sale, you can just scan the product with your barcode scanner and it'll ring that item up just like any other product ever has in point of sale. You can also feature that product as a button. So down here, as you can see, I have heaven is for real you can actually set up an item on a button so you can just ring that item up. So if I click that, it's going to do the same thing. You can also set up items as discounts. So if I wanted to do a 40% discount on this, I could set up a button to do a 40% discount. So if I click on that 40% discount, I can choose why I'm doing a discount. So I'm just going to choose employee. So when I choose employee, it actually does a 40% discount right there for you. Uh, you can also modify items. So if I ring up another item, let's say a medium coffee, I can come in here and I can choose to modify it. And if I choose modify on that item, I can issue a dollar discount. I can issue a percentage off discount. Or I can say I want to sell it for a particular amount. Uh, you also have the option to delete it directly delete the whole thing off of it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this item. And as you can see, it deletes it off. Uh, now I'm going to go into my subtotal screen. When I go into my subtotal screen, uh, as you can see, the screen is laid out into several parts. Um, down the middle in the light green is your different payment types. So you have cash, check, charge, uh, all of your credit card types. In the top right corner, you actually have a full 10 key. So you can actually tap in whatever they give you. Uh, in the down right corner, you have all your quick cash keys. So if they pay you with a 5 a 10 a $20 uh, bill, you can actually just click that button. Um, you do have other options. You can actually place this on hold. Let's say the customer forgot their wallet. Uh, you can do place on hold. And then when they come back, you can pull that transaction back up. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my quick cash keys and say they gave me a $5 bill. And so once you've clicked that, it'll actually come up and show you what the change is owed to the customer, give them the change, and then you're ready to go. Now it's time to set up a menu or configure a menu or maybe you're wanting to create a new item on your menu. So it's very easy to do that. All you do is click on Configure Cafe Screens. Let's go to Create Menus. And I'm going to pull up one of my menus here. And so now you kind of see exactly what your point of sale screen looks like. So if I wanted to come over here and I wanted to add another button, it's very easy. You just click find a blank button that's not used, click on it, put in your description. Let's just, I'll add another medium coffee here. Medium coffee. Choose your button color. You can choose whatever color you want. I'll just choose light green. Choose black text. Now you can choose what type of item it is. So I'm going to choose that it's an item. If I wanted to make it a coupon or a department sell button, I could do that as well. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to look up my coffee here. And so I'm going to transfer that right over, hit OK. And now, as you can see, you've created a new item on your menu. When you're done with that, you can go ahead and choose options here and just click on save and that saves your menu. Now you do have the option to configure some of the colors on the screen. So if I go in here to colors for miscellaneous buttons, 
as you can see right now, I have my standard color, 10 key color, dollar amount, tender amount. So anything that you want to change here, you simply just click on whatever option you want, choose a color, and then when you get ready, you just click on options and save. Uh, but I'm not going to save this. So I'm just going to hit exit. You do have some other options that you can add on with the cafe. Uh, by default, when you print a receipt, it's going to print a duplicate receipt for you to hand down to the prep line or the kitchen area. Uh, we do offer a receipt printer uh, that is um, networkable. So you could actually have that printer set up in your kitchen or your prep area. So right when you hit subtotal and you cash out your customer, they will actually get a copy of that receipt and start prepping it right then. Uh, so you can actually choose either method of whichever one you want to do there. Uh, that concludes the uh, preview of the Cafe Point of Sale. Uh, if you have any questions on anything you've seen today, please contact our sales department at 1-800-997-6724, option 1, or you can email us sales at bsmgr.com. Thank you for your time today.